Can you identify a tree borer that has killed seven of my fruit trees? Now that I know what to look for, it seems to be present all around my area. What is it? And what can you suggest to control it? And this is Matt. So uh, what do you think that is, Mr. D? Uh, yes, yes, <laughs> I can identify that. Uh, that is a, a flat-headed wood borer. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a very, very common uh, critter. Okay. But it doesn't normally attack healthy trees. That's right. It's normally a secondary infection, and they will attack trees that are damaged by lightning, mm -hmm. and if they're hit with a weed eater, yes, or more. a bulldozer, mm -hmm. or they have some other heavy disease pressure or something like that, that that's that they don't normally attack healthy trees. Sometimes they may attack a healthy tree that's adjacent to one that's not, you know, the, to one that they're in, they may go to a healthy right. one because, and I, 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 sometimes that happens. Um, but, so my question is, you know, what, what, what is stressing those yeah, stress fruit trees that you've weakened, got? Weakened, for sure. Why are they weakened? It could be drought. Okay. You know, uh, it could be, uh, there's a lot of things that stress plants. Mm -hmm. But I, I just suspect that there is something else creating a problem. I mean, you'll see these, these flat-headed wood borers, if you burn firewood, uh, they, will, they will get in firewood. They will, they will even, you know, they, 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 uh, any tree that, that is, is going down or stressed, you know, they, they will rapidly get in there. And you can actually hear them chewing oh, in the base, of your, the base of a tree that, uh, you know, they're big enough that right. you, can, you can actually actually hear them chewing on trees. Okay. So and the uh, trees are weakened or stressed, so I mean... So they'll take them on out. They'll now. take them out. And so once they're in there, the tree's gone. So what, what about control? Is, is there any need? There's, you know, no need. there's nothing the you can do once, once they're in the tree, you know, they're, yeah. you know, there's nothing that you can do. Yeah. Uh, Preventative sprays, maybe? On, on uh, boring, yeah. you know, boring uh, insects and peach trees and things mm -hmm. like that. You know, you go with a couple of preventative sprays in the summertime, yep. you can take care of peach tree borer, but that's not this, that's that's not not this flat-headed borer. Mm -hmm. You know, peach tree borers will kill peach trees and plum trees and nectarine trees. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, but, but this, is, uh, this is not a, uh, I, I just, the, the only preventative thing that you can do to prevent flat-headed wood borers is to keep your plants from being stressed. Yeah. That's it. So then soil testing, you know, yep. providing adequate nutrition, water, and, Watering, right. and not overdoing it. And, and, uh, 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 but that's, that's what this is. Uh, that, you know, when you've got that many. Uh, yeah, it's killed seven uh, of its know, fruit trees. I wonder trees, how many so, yeah. fruit trees yeah. do you have? Do you have hundreds, thousands, or yeah. do you have 10? Yeah. You know, uh, I, I'm just wondering, Matt, you know, I, I guess I have some questions right, too. Sure. Uh, you know. Yep. Sure. But he's definitely said it. So it seems to be present all around his area. Yeah. Um, but I was something, something is, uh, I've seen him get in, into uh, trees that uh, had fuel. The fuel was brought in and dirt and, okay. and soil was, and, and I've seen him get in plants that were mulched wrong. If you That's mulch, point. pile right. mulch okay. up against the base of okay. a plant and it stresses it, and, right. you know, I've seen them get That's into the and, and take those out. Okay. But, uh, so, you know, all of those uh, the, are things that could be causing a problem. Yep. Uh, but culturally, yeah, again, six pH, good watering, the over fertilize. They yeah, are normally a secondary infection. Yes, secondary. Hope you enjoyed the video. We would love to get more questions from you. So be sure to leave us some comments. 